All right, here we go. Let's get to some Twitch. Hi, everybody. I'm Chad, and with me tonight is A. A. Ron, Aaron, the editor. Hi. Hey. hey, Chad. How's it going? Good. I uh, thought I was all ready to go and realized I haven't updated my image pack because I do. Oh, yeah. I, I did that a few minutes ago. And did you update Windows already? Or are we going to uh, have an hour long delay again this nope. week? Nope. It's running. Shush. Quiet. That's not going to happen. Okay. All right, hi everybody. So we are not playing one of the new uh, quests, mainly because I think people uh, haven't even got it yet. So, you know, they're not they're not going to want to watch us play it. You want to have that first time experience by yourself. You don't want it to be spoiled. But we are going to play uh, hashtag Elrond's orders. Hey Rodar, uh, the quest of the bye week, the fortnight, is the Weather Hills. So, uh, did you pack your rain Ooh. gear, Aaron? <laughs> it was actually raining out here uh, yesterday. I got poured on because I didn't pack my rain gear. So, no, I'm not prepared. <laughs> well, we have a lot of attachments, right? Some of these things might protect us from the rain. Would a uh, halberk of mail protect us? Or would it just rust to us? <laughs> Hi, Thurideer. Uh Yeah, so what we got is two decks I built using a lot of the new Dale cards. And I've even split the pair. So I got, on my side, I have Lanwin, Brand, the son of Bane, and Eowyn. And I'm going to be using Brand's ability uh, to get some characters boosted with Will's Power. So I'll be the Will Power deck. But I also have some ranged uh, from Lanwin. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying out a bunch of different cards. I love my opening hand. I guess I'll make it visible to you, Aaron. It's a lot of horse guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I can't turn down Steward and Elven Light. <laughs> Plus, the willpower is good. Like, you can handle everything oh, else. Oh, for sure. So I'm playing a deck you built for me, Chad. Yep. Because my, my original goal was to... I haven't had a chance to play the, the new the new uh, deluxe at all either. I managed to get it sleeved over the weekend, but haven't had time to do anything. So I was going to come home after work and just throw together a, a quick Dale deck, but you you threw one together for me. I looked at it for about maybe one minute before we jumped online, so uh, we'll see how this goes. I think I imagine I see Baragant. Yep. I see Bard, Son of Brand. Uh, I imagine this is, let's get some attachments out and Power up, uh, power up Baragon. Yep. Have him handle all the defense and yeah, who's so, handling the attack. Yeah, so with uh, Bartering, which is a card we haven't talked about on the podcast because it was, uh, wasn't was spoiled, mm -hmm. and with Long Lake Trader, you're going to be able to play stuff on Baragon for free or at a reduced cost. And, and exhaust then the trader and move it around. Move it around or pull it back in your hand and mm -hmm. play something else and then play that back on Baragon. Okay. So uh, we'll see how it works. We both wanted to play the new Dale cards. So uh, I did like the, what is it, the Gordian Knot thing where I just cut it in half and we each get Dale cards. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, the are you, your hand is awesome, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I've got Galdor, so I guess I'll ditch one of the King of Dale and just replace it. Right. Yeah, you got a great hand. King of Dale is so good. And it's being replaced with... Nice! So, the, the big is. combo, the very first thing I thought of was you play Gondorian Spearman, you play the Spear of the Citadel on Baragon for free, and then you use Long Late Trader just to bloop, just Move slide right over. over to the Spearman. Mm -hmm. And then Makes with sense. the uh, Halberk of Mail, which you also can play on Baragon for free and then slide over if you need to. Um... The Gondorian Spearman actually becomes pretty darn good. I like to think that this uh, this long leg trader. I mean, his ability. It's obvious he's a trader, right? But also, I think it, it's the strength he gets from just single arm lifting barrels all day long. Well, what you don't realize is that barrel's full of helium, <laughs> and he's actually holding. And it's it down. made of balsa wood. He's holding it down. Actually, <laughs> he's working out his uh, his triceps, not oh, his biceps. Man. That's uh, what do they call it? That's muscle confusion. You keep them guessing. That's how you get. That's how you get big. <laughs> Instead of muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of like, uh, like working out and like 
uh, training or whatever. Today, Aaron, did you see the video of me shooting my bow? Uh, I, I saw that it got posted, but no, I, I, I haven't actually had a chance to watch it yet. Oh my god. So I bought new arrows, and I was testing out my bow and arrow, basically. You know, you need to shoot all summer to get ready for season. You don't want to wound an animal or, you know, you want to be good. You want to respect yeah. respect the, the the deer and make sure you make a clean shot. So I shoot as much as I can. So I bought new arrows because mine were pretty beat up. They were um, missing feathers, and they break usually when they do uh when i do hunt they you only get one shot and then they're pretty much useless Mm -hmm. so i bought six new arrows took a shot with the first one i hit the center of the center of the center i mean it couldn't have been a better shot i'm like all right because they were a new brand of arrows and i'm like all right these are these are flying great i take a second shot this is at 22 yards like the the most common distance you would shoot i take a second shot pow robin hood it (laughs) Do you know what that is? That's awesome. Yeah, we split the arrow, right? Yeah, that's where I put one arrow inside the other. I've never done it before. In oh, my that's life. awesome. And yeah, it's on video. I'm like, well, I took a video of the aftermath. Oh. I'm like, oh, that's good grouping, but goodbye, twenty two dollars, because each arrow <laughs> costs eleven bucks. I'm like, I, Oof. ouch, that was an expensive. Okay, anyway, so that that I didn't shoot from that distance anymore. I'm like, well, I guess I'm sighted in. <laughs> I was able to get the one arrow out. The one that I destroyed is destroyed, but the other arrow uh, didn't get wrecked. All right, let's move on to the quest. Uh, you've pursued the remnants of an orc party east from the borders of Breeland and into the wilderness beyond. Their trail climbs out of the lowlands and into the Weather Hills. Set some stuff aside. We create- I have a guess as to what quest card that is from, Chad. I think that's quest 1A from uh, the Weather Hills. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, you're wrong. It's from, um, the Hot Pants quest. <laughs> okay, we make this. Do, do, do. Okay, we don't have to do anything else. Right? I don't want to screw up right off the bat. Did I miss something? Add hunting the orcs and one weather top. No, okay, that's it. Aaron, would you like to read the next one? Aaron? Yes. Oh, do you want to read the next side? Oh, I think we had some lag there. Yes, as you pursue the orcs, the weather itself turns against you. Now you must contend with the elements while you hunt the enemy. All right, so the first weather treachery uh, is going to gain surge. Hey, Lanwin. Yeah. Yeah, that was not on purpose, but can we pretend oh. it was so I look smart? Yeah, Yeah. I, I totally brought Lanwin to this, uh, to this uh, quest on purpose, not because she's Dale. And, um, or Glenn, right? Okay, and uh, let's see. When the active location is explored, we reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve its staging as if it was just revealed from the encounter deck. And then hunting the orcs, we have to defeat enemies to place resources. We need X. X is five. And then this thing gets worse as we reveal more, excuse me, weather treacheries. Okay, cool. Let's advance. Let's uh, move on. All right. Oh, another spearman. Oh, really? All right. I am definitely getting my allies. That's good. This is a good combo right there. I'm not playing. Oh, wait. I have two spirit heroes. Oh. I kind of forgot I did that on purpose. I was thinking this was a trisphere deck. Well, that's cool. I'll play you. All right, that's me. All right. I'm going to Daron's runes. <laughs> Rodar is giving me kudos for doing this. I honestly wish I could say it was on purpose. Hmm. Oh, nice. What should I ditch? The second Spearman or the male? I think. I'll prefer the mail. It's cheaper. So, whoop. Yep. It's almost like he knew. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know what I'm doing on this deck yet, Chad. So, give me a second. Well, unfortunately, the reason your Can't deck play it. is. Yeah. This is not a solo deck, your deck. 
I think I'm going to save up for King of Dale rather than playing one of the males on Baragon this turn, right? Well, you can put, put one on him for free. Yeah, just put it on for free. Yeah. And but then... then... Who is uh, Unexpected Courage supposed to go on? Baragon. Ultimately. All yeah. right, well, yeah, Baragon. I'm not saving up for that quite yet. But all right. Um, yeah, I think that's probably a good... Actually, couldn't I put two males on? No, it's one per hero. Character. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. I'll save up my resources. Yeah, because on your next turn, you play your Spearman, you move that male, and you play the other one for free after you play your trader. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And is, wait, is there not a token for extra... No, there's not. Okay, all right. Just got to try to remember that there's extra hit point on, uh, on Baragond. Right. All righty, let's quest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Boop, boop. I'll send seven at the moment. Are we trying to make pretty good progress in this first round? Nope, we don't need to. Alright, I'll keep... I don't know why I'll keep barred up, but it never hurts. Yeah, maybe you could kill something or hurt something. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Yeah, maybe you can... Do a point of damage. Uh, ooh, an enemy. You don't see many of those in this encounter deck because of that orc deck. After it engages a player, it makes an immediate attack. See? That's good you kept two characters up. Mm. Because you're going to be engaging it. Or me, I guess. I could. Let's see what else is coming. Well, I mean, uh, weather yeah, we'll surges. I will ready. Yeah, I ready land win. That's what I'll do. Uh, let's see, then this gets a threat. Okay, each player assigns X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of quest cards. And then we exhaust the damage characters. Well, I will just put it on somebody who's already exhausted. Yep. Boop. All right, cool. So we make a lot of progress. We make uh, three against... Mm-hmm. What, nine? Yeah, no, well, you should... Uh, five. You make five. Five, right? One, two, three... Yep, and then you should definitely engage the orcs since I can yep. sentinel with you and you can kill them, most likely. Well, I have range, too, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, do you? I guess you technically, but if but he gets I buffed... To, I have to defend live. it with Brand, and, but first let's get through... Uh, oh, it does make an... Right. Me. So well then, why not let me, I'll take it if you have ranged. Because I can do two defenses. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter at all. Okay. Yep. So we cleared the location. Doesn't something happen when you clear the location? You're right. You're absolutely right. This may make us rethink who we're engaging. Yeah, I forgot this happened. So that shadow needs to be coming out, right? Well, no, because I pulled it out of a different deck. Um, I think. Oh, okay. I think. He oh, should... yeah, it's the orc deck, right? Sorry. Yeah, I think he should just stay there for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't... Ready for combat? Yeah. So you got a uh, you got an immediate attack. All right. Ard will take hey, that attack. All right. I love nice. seeing encounter side quests go away. All right, then the actual attack. Baragon. Uh, plus one. So doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And then I can attack for three, which kills it, and we get to put a resource. Nice. All right, that wasn't terrible. Better than our last uh, game we played. Sure first round. Sure is. <laughs> Ready right. for a new round? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right, Daron Drones. Hey, look at that. Look at all these Dale cards. This is Dale. This is my other brother, Dale. <laughs> That's a dated reference, Chad. Oh, but it's a good one. What do I get rid of? I've got nothing but good cards. Oh, yeah, you have to get rid of something. It's the only problem when you have so many good cards. Maybe... Oh, man. Probably this. No, 
I don't know how much more defense I need. Maybe the other male? Yeah, or I was kind of bow. thinking. There's quite a few. There's two more bows in your deck. Yeah, and I'm, you've got some ranged. Yeah, yeah you'll probably you'll yeah. probably pull out another bow. All right, so let me get Trixie here. Here we go. King of Dale's got to come out. Yep. All right, so the King of Dale, I'll read it while you're figuring out what you're going to do. You attach it okay. to a Dale or Esgaroth hero. Planning action, we exhaust the King of Dale to reduce the cost of the next Dale ally you play this phase by one for each different player attachment on attached hero. That ally does not require a resource match. Wait, hold on. Yep. Wait. There we go. So you didn't need I paid to paid two. I had two. I exhausted you... it and I got him. Right? Uh, no. What? How did that not work out? No, no. You Boop. Boop. You reduced the cost by all the attachments. Yeah. Oh, you I I um so I did King of Dale, and then I get rid of two. I Whoops. thought you used the King of Dale to help play for the Long Lake Trader. I got, nope. I got confused. Nope. It was to get the the warrior out, too. I gotcha. All right. There we go. You know what you could do? Actually, do you want to get even trickier? Maybe. Okay. Back up. Watch this. All right. Spend two for I've never Long played these Dale decks. Yeah, they're tricksy. Spend two for Long Lake Trader. Okay. Okay. Now exhaust it and move the mail to Bard. Oh, very tricksy. Uh -huh. And now I can put the other mail back on Baragond. Uh -huh. My good buddy Bard has now got extra defense. And then two attachments. So then, whoop, we only lose one resource. <laughs> and next turn, who knows what other shenanigans we can get up to. So I think we're all going to agree that Dale decks are not first the first uh, deck you show somebody. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you're new to the I, game? I, I... Play this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Let's make Landwind the Steward of Gondor. I don't think I've ever made Landwind the Steward of Gondor. Why not? Uh, I've never had the opportunity. Oh, you were being... Uh, I see. I think I will save and play Glorfindel next turn. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's quest. So again, we're not Again, yeah, we don't need to make it. So this is a side quest quest. Yeah, it's got five, so it just pretty much gets plus one threat. Yeah, it's going to go up in threat, but it's not in the staging area, so yeah. Send two again, I guess. Rodar saying this reminds him of how Sylvans were when they first came out. Yeah, you kind of had to just get used to it. How the tricks work. Yeah, those first few Sylvan playthroughs, I'm like, I don't know if I did anything wrong. I taught three people or whatever with, with the Sylvan decks. Right. Exactly. All right. Uh, I quested for 11. All right. That seems pretty good. This guy again. I am. I know. I am He's actually not... okay seeing this guy come up. He can just keep coming over to me. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, no weather. Ooh. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. We make uh, for a six. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Cleared. Okay. Ooh, and we reveal the camp. Concealed orc camp. When it's the active location, when it's explored, we place a resource uh, token, but to travel there... We got to search the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy, and we put it in play. So I don't think we want to go there right now, right? Yeah, we, we gotta... would remove a token and to go to the Sheltered Valley. Uh, if we wanted to forward, travel there we heal instead. a damage. Uh... Who cares about the damage right now? 
Oh, right. but so we, got we don't want to have to engage somebody. Right. Because we got two attacks from the cornered orc. Yeah, exactly. That's the only reason. If we didn't have two attacks, I'd say let's go to the orc camp. But since we have two attacks already, probably the sheltered valley. Yeah, I think it makes more sense. Okay. Because I'm not going to actually be able to kill this orc this turn. Yep. I'm since sorry. the warrior is not buffed at all. Yeah, and I can't help you. No, but a uh, bard will heroically defend the first attack. Okay. Uh, plus one. Does nothing. Does nothing. Bounces. Okay. Baragon will heroically defend another attack. Yay! Goodbye, Weather Treachery. And then I'll do one damage to him. Boo. That bow of you. If we wouldn't have tossed it. It's all right. <laughs> exactly. Who's Thanks, Who's that? <laughs> no, you got you got good cards there. Actually, the uh, spearman you put in play next turn will take care of it. All right. Yeah, that's gonna, I was kind of thinking he's, he's gone. Yep. Oh, there's another horse guy. Gandalf! Gandalf the Grey. All right. I will play Glorfindel from my discard pile. Um, wow, Glorfindel could actually wear the, the ho Hoberk of mail. Ho Hoberk? Hoberk. Hoberk. Hey. Halberk? How do you say that? Halberk. Halberk, I Hal think. Halberk sounds right. The the long leg trader would be happy to send one over your way. Oh, I have one in my hand. Oh, okay. I wasn't looking at your hand. Yep. I, I was just noticing Glorfi is a warrior. All right, you're up. All right. So we'll go ahead, exhaust King of Dale. He'll go ahead and get out this horse guy for free. Then we'll bring out the spearman. And that's about that. Save a resource for test of will. Pretty good, man. Or get a little bit of double duty going on with uh, unexpected courage next turn. Yep. I'm just reading all these cards. It's a lot to keep track of. All right. Let's do this. I'm saying 13. You really don't need to send much at all. Three. Okay. Galdor just wants to, you know, take part. He wants to do something. I mean... Yeah, okay, we have to make four progress. All right. Hey, McDog. The, the trader's not. The trader's not doing nothing, and he, he can retreat. So he'll go. Okay, we'll send four. McDog's got a good point here. He's thinking that Dale isn't too difficult for newer players to understand at a basic put all the attachment on the things level, but it allows for high high ceiling play. I like that. I agree. I guess it is true. It, it's a. I mean, let me. I'm trying to think of the right term. It's a simple deck, but. But it's not necessarily maybe an easy deck, or you could get pretty pretty elaborate and tricksy with it. But exactly. the concept is 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 easy for anyone to pick up, right? Right. But then if you're like, hey, check this out, and I do that, like I don't think someone would have, on their first time playing a Lord of the Rings game, would have realized, oh, you can play the, you know, like that one. I've or... played hundreds of games, and I still didn't realize it. We're not all good with numbers, Chad. That's right. That's all right. Wow. Okay, locations. I do have northern trackers in this deck, and that seems it's like it's going to be good. Two, four, six, uh, nine. Ten. So we, we clear this. Yeah, easily. Uh, we can heal all damage from one character. Eowyn. You can, you can do it. No, Eowyn sh should. Oh, okay. She's got less hit points than Galdor. Does she? All right. All right. by one, yeah. We got the Agmar Orc. Oh, he's when revealed, down. we get either discard an ally from play or reveal an encounter card. I can totally discard an ally. Glorfindel. Yeah. You can play him out of your discard pile. <laughs> oh, that's true. 
I was going to ready him to help you. <laughs> That's true. Actually. Well, you you could, but I mean, you know what? how are you going to sneak him back in? And you probably got ways. No, I'll discard this other guy. Yeah, I don't get rid. Don't get rid of that. That's that silly. No. All right. Uh, we can't travel to the. I think we travel to. Well, why don't we go to the sheltered valley? Because we don't have any tokens on the objective right now, so it can't hurt. You know, it's not going to remove one. Well, except we can't because that's how you travel. Oh, duh. All right, so. Um. I think we go to the ruins. Yeah. All right. Cool. So he's going to come down to you. Yep. Send him my way. Okay. I'll just guard everybody. That's what your deck does. So I'm going to guard wait, the wait. corner to orc. Ah, what? Um. Because I can ready Glorfindel. And you can still defend Sentinel. Yeah, he... Maybe that's a better idea. Because I want to discard Elven Light I, to ready Glorfindel. Can yeah, I mean, neither one of us are going to kill the Angmar Orc this turn, and I can, yeah, I'll, I'll, set, I'll defend for you. All right, cool. All right, can you set me defend so, Baragon? Baragon. Hey, thanks. Yep, Baragon Baragir. will defend for you. Um, Plus one, driving. doesn't matter. All right. And then your Gondorian Spearman will kill this guy, right? I love it. Yep, he's dead. The shadow was nothing, of course. All right, I can attack for three, and your guy doesn't have ranged yet. Oh, three does nothing. Uh, well, no, but I couldn't do anything. I could have, well, I would have done one damage to him, so doesn't, you know, if you want to pr bring him back over here and retcon and he'd have one damage on him because Dale, Warrior, and Bard will just do one damage. Yeah, let's do that. John. I I didn't realize he had three defense. Jeez. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He'd have one damage. One, two, oh. three, four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I had realized nobody's powered up yet. Yeah. Well, the warrior is not powered up yet because somebody made me get rid of a zero cost. Shut uh, up. Weapon attachment. I, somebody didn't. Daron's <laughs> runes did. <laughs> I still wanted to discard Elven Light though. Uh, to ready. No, I mean, yeah, nothing stopping you, right? Right, so I can still ready him. All right, control in. <laughs> if you get a... Now, see, this is where your deck is supposed to work great. If you get a spear on the spearman, you're killing that orc. Getting past that three defense. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to put it on Baragon instead, though. And then pass it? All right. Oh, it's my planning. Sorry. I th yep. For some reason, I thought it was yours. All right. So we'll go ahead and make use of Bard's ability. And we're going to go. No, no. No, play it for free on Baragon. Then... Oh, duh. You can duh. see this is what I'm. Ah. Chad, this deck is too tricksy for me. <laughs> and, and then use the trader. Yep. That's awesome. Now, who wants. It. Who wants the unexpected courage? Um, I say either Landwin or Baragon. Yeah, Landwin's got range, and I feel like I've got enough defense going on over here. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, wait. Before you do that, let me play Elven Light and see what I draw. Okay. Oh, a test of will. Okay. All right. Now you can make. There you go. Thank you. I have them in my I deck will as well. give you control. Thanks. All oh, right. and I've almost got no cards, which means Yep. Galdor is about to trigger, so. Nice. Let me just cancel a treachery for fun. Okay. Alrighty. Um I need one more resource. Urgh. What do I want to do here? I can play. Traf oh, Traffic from Dale. Choose a Dale hero you control. Oh, nice. Oh, you got so many cards, Chad. I know. All right, Traffic from Dale. Choose a Dale hero you control. Add one resource to its pool for each character you control of a player attachment. Oh, each character you control. Yeah, so you're only getting... That's, that's, that nets you nothing. That nets I nothing. should be playing that card. If I had a leadership icon. 
So I could put the Hallbrook on somebody, but then I'm spending one and then spending one. No, yeah. it doesn't gain me anything. All right. I think I'll be paying for that. I need to get some of my other attachments out. Uh, okay, I'm good. Hey, Private Ear uh, Jess. All right, we got a little bit of threat. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, seven, three. I'm sending three, Chad. I'm sending 13. All right. Here we go. You going to ready up land one? Not yet. I'll see if she readies on her own. Oh, duh, because she's got the surge power. Mm -hmm. And we know that we're any uh, weather card is going to trigger her. Right. All right, let's do it. Weather! Aside weather, hello, Lanwin. among characters committed to the quest. Do you want to cancel it just to draw all your cards? Yes. It still surges. But what I can't because I spent my last spirit resource. Oh, my God! <laughs> Are you serious? All right, now we have to I did on Unexpected Courage. Oh. <laughs> it's cool. I'll, I'll do it next turn. Okay, wait. So now we have to assign, because I could cancel it, assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. So how many characters uh, are committed? I committed one, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight. Nine, right? Oh, no, the traitor didn't. Yeah, the traitor wasn't committed. Right, yeah, so I'm going to cancel that. That's eight damage. That's a lot. Okay. I mistook the uh, uh, extra on our good friend uh, Bard there for, for a resource icon. Okay. Um... So let's see, Lanwin, I will, I'm going to, what do we got, 16, it's going to surge, 16 against 7, 10, we have to reveal two more cards, I think I better Thanks. boost my willpower by two, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we'll Junior, what's uh this is the Weather Hills, the quest of the week. Alright, the surge is another weather. Uh, this one doesn't surge. We each deal one damage to a hero we control, then we attach it to the current quest. Counts as a condition attachment. Treat each damage character's printed text box as if it were blank. Alright. We have to do it to a hero. Oh crap. It only makes sense to put it on. Galdor for me. Yep, because it's already blank, right? Uh, well, he's not doing anything until I have no cards. So yeah, he's essentially worthless. But you're not a. I guess Aowen. I guess for yeah, short, short term. Oh, All right. Okay. I really wish I hadn't have used that resource to give you unexpected Sorry. courage when you just keep readying constantly. Wow. Hmm. Another weather. Ugh. <laughs> Three weathers in a row? Man. Okay. Um, each player assigns X damage among characters. X is the number of quest cards. Then we exhaust. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me th think here. He's too... We need to get some of, our, some of your healing out. Yeah. It doesn't really make a difference. He's not going... He's going to die to the Spearman, so who cares who I exhaust. Yep. And then got to damage him, right? Yep. All right, so we definitely clear this. No, you don't have to damage the person you exhaust. Oh, wait, when I canceled you. that, we have Hold to... Hold on, you don't... Sorry, you don't have to damage the person you just exhausted, right? No, no, you got to damage him. And then discard it. All right. Uh, yeah. We damage and then exhaust. But we also were supposed to raise our threat by two when we canceled that thing. Okay. All right. That four, goes away. Two, four, four, seven. Yeah, we, we did it. No we problem. did 18. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. So he's coming down. I mean, we're over. But I can deal with him because. The Angmar Ark's going to die to the Spearman, and I can, I can deal with the Marauder. Okay, I don't think. On terms need... of. Yeah, I don't think we need to travel, to be honest. Nah, we're making so much progress right okay. now. All right, so you engage him. Bring him down. He's still up there. I think that's okay. Let's yeah, get rid of these. I, I don't. Know. All right, we'll start with ready, land, land. the Angmar Ark and just. Kill him with their uh, uh, 
Good buddy, the and his spear. Spearman. Okay. All right. And uh, Baragond will defend against targets. the Marauder. Uh, deal Ooh, one damage. Three. Aww. Oh, that sucks, because now it turns off Baragond's Whoop. ability. What did I just get rid of? All right, but I... it, it just turned off his ability? Yeah, because... Um... Oh, because he's damaged. Son of a gun. I know. All right, I can I can send over three from Landwind. Okay, and I got two, so he's not going to die. All right. Spearman. Spearman <laughs> will do die it. next? Yep. Okay. Not... It does stink that Baragon's not a Sentinel anymore. And he can't be doing his weapon shenanigans right. until we... You have healing in your deck. You just got to draw it. Oh, I see. I have lore. Did you did you pack iron of a uh, miner of the iron hills in this deck, Chad? No. All right. You gotta pay. You gotta play your test of will and draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> well, I would have. <laughs> but either way, you wouldn't have been able to do it because you would have had to. You would have then had unexpected courage in your hand. All right. There was no way around it. Nope. But this turn, I can get it out. Right. All right. I can well, no, play... I can't because Galdor is useless. I can play this guy. One, two, three. And then he says uh, reduce the cost to play armor to attachments by one. This is armor, so the halberd comes on and it boosts him. Uh, when I play an attachment on a Dale character without an attachment, I draw a card. Another Gandalf. Okay. Uh, Northern Tracker I can play, so I will. Nice. Yeah. Is that it? Um, yes. Yeah, we're getting killed by that quest attachment. That's ruthless. Yeah. So hopefully you can... Yep, everyone's saying that too. Yeah, just play your Spearman and then hopefully you can cancel something and draw six... Oh, you can't draw six cards! No, I can't because he's injured. Oh my god. It's terrible. I can at least... Test a will something, though, and then, you know, hope for the best. Wow. Yeah, okay, this isn't good. All right, one. Two, now, the timing just barely missed. Don't All send right. too much. I'm saying 14. Okay, I'll send three. Uh, this guy again. Glad to see him. To no be honest. problem. And exposed ridge. Okay, exposed ridge is active location text. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, you do not want to travel to the exposed ridge. You make five progress. Not with that condition in play. There's healing Brutal. here, McDog. It's just now he can't draw it. I can't get to my stinking card draw. Right. The timing was just off. All right, so want to go to exposed ridge. I don't think. Do we, we want to go to the sheltered fat? No, not. I mean, it's nice to heal all the damage off one yeah, character just then to get our, heal... our stats yeah, 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 back. Yeah. Let's do that. Then you can heal uh, Galdor. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Good call, Aaron. I knew I brought you along for some reason. <laughs> all right. So we still don't need to worry about the Agmar captain. Yeah, I'm thinking like he's not coming on this turn, but can we? deal with him so i'm just going through the numbers here so the angmar marauder who's engaged with me the standalone spearman will kill him yep the cornered orc could come down he'll die to the other spearman yep so yes or we, or we could do you know two damage to the captain but then we need to get seven on the captain baragon can't defend for you but you can shoot some ranged over no, no, can see, you I shoot can, i can engage this guy you can actually engage this guy okay and then that your, because your spearman is sentinel. Oh, he still is sentinel, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then I can do this. Yeah. And Actually, we'll no, 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 no. Like this. This is how we want to do it. This is how we want to do it. Because then I will discard Elven Light to ready Glorfi. And I have lots of characters ready. Okay. All right. So let's start. Who will be defending the Angmar captain, though? Oh, because Baragon's not Sentinel. 
Okay, yep, that's why we did it like If that. I use my Spearman, he's just gonna... I mean, it's fine, but he's gonna be attacking back and killing one of your characters, and I don't think you want that. Right. Well, I'm having a brain fart. I do my more people. shadow cards first, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're first player. Weather Hills, Overhill, and Dale. <laughs> nice. Okay, the Agmar Captain does have a force effect. After he attacks and destroys an ally, we discard the top card as a defending player's deck type thing. Well, he's not going to be attacking an ally, so... Baragon will be defending him. My Redwater Sentry could almost defend that guy. FYI. He's pretty buff. He, yeah, I mean, he gets he gets up there quick. Yep. All Especially right. if you could get uh, Raymond of War on him. He's yeah. pretty pretty beefy. Yep. All right, can you please defend my guy with your double direct damage, dude? Uh, yes. Dude, dude. Lovely. His shadow was... I either raise my threat by three or it's undefended. Nice. Ooh, that's not great. Okay. All right, I will go ahead and kill off uh, the Marauder with the other one, the uh, other Spearman. Yeah, it's plus one or plus two with damage. So far, the uh, the Spearman uh, tricks are working very well. I think this is going well. It's working well. great. And then uh, Baragon is five, so he's defending against the uh, captain who gets nothing, so nothing happens. That's great. And I have... and attack backs on this dude. We need to do seven. I have three. And I can five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Hey, we did. He's dead. I think Look I missed that. I missed two of those. Hey, we're almost there. One more. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to pull back Elven Light. Well, we're going to lose one when we travel, when we clear the sheltered valleys. Just FYI. No, we're not. We already, I already removed it when we traveled there. Oh, that's the travel. That's not when you clear. Right. Okay. Hey, I got the new necklace. Oh, the gridiron necklace? What's yeah, it called? Yeah, the gridiron necklace. <laughs> All right, control in. Garyon. All right. Gerdian. Gird my loinians. <laughs> yeah, I say. Gird, gird loinians. Uh, I like that. All right. Threat reduction. It's looking good. Wait, I mean, hold on. You have I a have my unique Wait, Noldor how did character. You heal, how'd you heal Galdor? We haven't cleared this place yet. It was the travel condition, wasn't it? No, you switched him. All oh, right, see, well, then. All right, hold on, hold on. He's back. He's got two. Anyway, I'm still playing Elrond's Council. During the quest phase. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I think we can play this necklace, right? We're questing hard. So the necklace yeah. says it's guarded by an enemy or a location. So then I discard cards until we get a location, the weathered hilltop. Okay. That costs right. one. So I will spend one of those. Um, yep, still doesn't make sense to play traffic from Dale. So no. So I'm done. All right. And you're done. I'm done. All right. I think clearing that concealed orc camp with the northern tracker is okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. One. Let's see why not. I'll do 14. I'm sending three. I wasn't supposed to be shuffling all these orcs back into their special deck, was I? I, I don't know. I hope not, because I haven't been. Does anybody know? Was I supposed to? I have not played this one for a long time. Me either. Okay. Uh, okay, we're good? We are, yep. Okay, card number one. Hey, treachery, doom two. But well, you can cancel. I would like to cancel that, right. please. All right. So Ooh. we don't have to remove each damage character from the quest, and which is actually pretty good. We it does surge. Well, oh, I didn't do my doomed. Sorry. Oh. They go in the nor normal one. Thanks, McDog. Uh, we're, so we're gonna surge. We're up against four. 
I think we're okay. I think I'll ready her. Okay. Surges into an ancient causeway, and then card number two is make camp. Well, this is, this is actually okay. Um, characters can't be. Oh such... no! <laughs> yeah, that's really annoying. Um... <laughs> now characters can't be healed. <laughs> We and all we need to do is heal those damn two, because I'm going to have no cards in my hand after I play our own council. <laughs> I was like, hey, we get to do more healing, but then it says they can't be healed while it's in play. Uh, all right, uh, I guess Landwin is now plus two, because I can't right. read her more. That surges into this. Great. Assign X damage. Of... That's a lot of damage. That's one, That's two, three, eight four, damage. Five, six, seven nine damage so let's see i can do okay so i can do yeah you start yours and then i'll backfill with whatever since my dudes are all hurt i did seven okay so i'll do eight on him and nine on baragon since they're already blanked ouch and then i am gonna go ahead and lower my threat by three and then actually you know what mcdog is is actually right. I think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to kill Glorfindel. Oh, oh, yeah, you've got you've got a whole bunch of resources. That's actually a better play. So Glorfie died. So yeah, save your other characters. So their effects don't get blanked. Although we are going to be advancing okay. probably. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then plus one from Elrond's council. Not that it matters. Yeah, but... we, we did a ton. All right. Yeah. All right, so now we can't heal. No, but we can go after this stupid encounter card side quest now. Okay, we got an orc to worry about. And then we'll advance. So that'll get rid of that cold from Agmar as well. There you go. Bring him over here. Get over here. So you either have to raise your threat by three or it's considered undefended. Well, Aww. looks like your Elrond's council just got negated. It offsets it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just kill this dude. Lots of killing. Everybody's attacking. Everybody. Hey, do you need right. to... Never mind. Never mind. I was just checking. And no cards. Galdor's ready to trigger. I know. Okay. Uh, but you, you'll be able to. So we have five there. So then it says... Where does it say this? If there are five tokens here, we flip hunting the orcs. Okay. There it is. Okay. Savage counterattack. Uh, we advance to 2A. So now you can draw cards. Uh, okay. You've hunted the orcs to their secret gathering place on the northern edge of the weathered hills in the old Dunedain border, Fort of Amon Forn. With nowhere left to run, the orcs turn and fight with desperate savagery. When revealed, oh, we end the current phase. We shuffle the encounter discard pile and the orc deck into the encounter deck, so McDog was right, and we reveal orc ambush. Oh, reveal. Another orc. side quest. Oh, we yeah, reveal orc the, ambush, yeah. I see. And add them to the staging area. Okay, so that goes there. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I should not have attacked with every single character I had. Why? I We're... did not know that I was gonna, uh, no, now we have to. No, we're uh, we're like at the end of we're in the refresh phase now. But didn't it say end the immediate phase and reveal orc ambush? And it says one reveal. You, you must search the encounter deck and discard power for an orc enemy and put it into play and gauge with them. Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to attack them. Well, who am I going to defend with? We don't have to defend either. We're in the refresh phase. Well, then I'm going to take my six cards from Kaldor then. Yeah. Okay. Look at all these cards I got to play. That's why I think that's why they do that. So you can't just attack before they get shadows. Yeah. Right, so we will get rid of these 
I, these guys, these when revealed ones. Yeah, go ahead and bring them in. All right. I do this right. Each player. Yep, and they're all boosted. Uh, okay, this thing says, already weary from days of travel through harsh weather, you are hard-pressed to match the orc's ferocity. You must rally your men or see them fall. Each damage character gets minus one willpower. At the beginning of the quest phase, either discard one resource token from Savage Counterattack or reveal an additional card. And this is the stage we need to defeat to win. What's and we just stage? need to put 20 points on it, right? Yep, but we also have Amon Forn. It says, while it's the active location, forced after an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack. It's added. Okay, so we can, got, we, we can do this in two rounds. I'm feeling it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So it does suck that we can't heal any damage because of this stupid make camp, because I finally got my healing cards out. Right. Well, one of them, but whatever. All right, it's so fine. let's travel to the Weather Hilltop, because that thing will get cranked mm -hmm. up in threat pretty quick no time all right oh wait duh we're not traveling hold on we're not that no yeah, yeah we're we're in uh we're in refresh look at all your stuff all right new turn yep oh my god there's just so many cards uh, where's my sneak attack oh i would love to play bartering right now to get out a something but it's not going to happen yeah you don't have um well no you um there's no reason i mean i can afford all the attachments i do have yeah and i can't self-preservation i mean i can put it on baragon but it doesn't matter i can't use it right so what you would do is you would like play gondorian shield pull it back with bartering play self-preservation for two yeah then put the shield right back on all right it's yeah though uh, I got a lot of resources. I'm kind of thinking of playing Gandalf. Why not? What else do you got? More of these defenders, which we don't need. I got Glorfindel I can play too. but Yeah, I mean, he's never bad. I'll play Gandalf, and dropping my threat seems good. I don't think we have to worry about killing things. Nah, we've got we got I, defense. I, I think I'll draw three cards. One, two, three. All right, the necklace. Ooh, unexpected courage. Okay. Um, unexpected courage. I'll repay the favor. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right. Is that you? How does the guarded necklace thingy work? Does anyone get to decide who gets it? The first player decides? Like, I could put it on one of your heroes, or is it because I played it, it goes on my guy? Oh, that's a... I don't remember. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played, so I haven't read up on the, the guarded player cards yet. I could run upstairs and read it. Maybe someone can tell me in the I, chat. I mean, I don't think it makes a huge difference since you might as well put it on, you know... I'll put it on brand. So I can play all these uh, yeah. leadership cards. Okay, I'm done. All right, I am going to do, even though I can't use it right now, but you never know. I'm going to get all tricksy and do, do this. Boop, boop. This combo here, mm -hmm. which essentially puts... I'm costing two resources to yep. put self-preservation on Baragon. Thanks, McDog. He's got a bit of a tower. Yep. Oh, I should have done Darren's runs first, but whatever. Hey, darn it! Then you could have only played it for one. There. Oh, yeah. I guess I did screw that one up, didn't no, I? Okay. Oh, well. Live and learn. And then, oh, you don't really need more power, but I've got resources. Oh, Nothing else to spend them on. Well, he, you can play him for free, remember? Oh, he's free, and then he's out there. There we go. And then you also can play your helm for free. Oh, he's got he's not blocked anymore. Good God. Right. Oop. 
All right. And then I'm going to just sit on the warrior. Yep. That's a lot of dudes hanging out here, man. All right. Should yeah. I, this is a much more fun deck to play than the last one you gave me. I'm playing like 20 cards. That's You played more cards that turn than you did the entire game last time. <laughs> okay, orc ambush. Uh, each orc enemy is boosted. Make camp. Which one do you want to go to? <sighs> I don't think it... I mean, so it's nice to heal, but at this point, we're not in jeopardy of losing, like. Why didn't we travel last round? We Didn't we travel and we cleared it, and then we went to the next stage? We went there. Didn't oh, yeah, we did go there. What happened to that? I don't know. Yeah, who knows? But, yeah, we definitely did go to the weather okay. build. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. So the question is, which of these side quests do we want to go to, or do we want to ignore both and just try to... Well, we got to beat the fort anyway, so... I think... Forn? I th the owner takes control of it. At that point, you decide who to attach it to. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So I can attach it to a hero. Okay. Not one I control. Nice! Thanks, McDog. Um, I mean, do we... I'm, I'm not concerned about any of these enemies actually killing anybody, but then again, at the same time, like, you know, now these guys are attacking for three, and if they get buffed by two, you know, you could all of a sudden lose a hero and we'll easily clear it this turn. Yep. I think we do make camp first. Okay, then we can do some healing. Yep, because if we get huh. another cold from Agmar, that's going to suck. All right, do we want to discard a resource to avoid an additional card? I think yes. Yeah. We're not about to win this. Well, yeah, actually, because... All right. Well, yeah, we still got a few rounds to play with. All right, I will send 11. I will discard I'm Elven Light. Five. Oops. Shoot. For 12. Okay, and then Long Late Trader can start tr moving around self preservation. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Weather. Doom 2. Ugh. Land went right. Uh, remove each damage character from the quest. Oh, wait. I forgot to do this. That's immune. Oh, well, that goes two of mine. Oh, that's going to lose... A lot. <laughs> a lot. No. That's going to lose five, six. All right. So I think I'll boost Landwin. Yeah, boost right by two. Oh, wait, that doesn't surge anymore, does it? Nope. Doesn't. Nope. Actually, I didn't count my willpower right to begin with. Each damage character gets minus one. So, yeah. Each damage character gets minus one willpower. Gotta remember that. All right, card number two. Yep, Rodar's there. Gosh darn it. Why is it we reveal two weather treacheries in a row? Oh, man. Each character assigns X dam or each player X damage. X is the number of quest cards. Ugh, we each have to do three damage. Oh, come we have, on. We have Raven Winged Helm, at least. There's one. He's not questing. So can I do it to anybody? Two. Oh, sweet. I can do it to Gandalf. One, two, three. And he's not questing, so I'll do that. All right. There we go. All right. We sent nine. One, two, three, Ugh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Farquhar. Yeah, we, uh, we failed by one. Yeah. Because uh, I lost six willpower. Ouch. Yeah, that was a rough turn. We really had things in hand for a moment there. Those two treacheries in a row. Yeah. Not good. Okay, attacks. Uh, I can defend with Gandalf. Okay. 
Cause you don't I've got courage. unexpected. I mean, I guess oh, yeah. You have he's sentinel, played. don't you? I've got sentinel and unexpected courage on Baragon, so. They're attacking for three. And actually, Baragon is up two more defense here, so he's currently at what is that? It's a lot. I can, he's at. I can kill my guy if I don't. Seven. Have he's at eight defense right now. Oh, okay. I so can I kill my guy fine. if you can defend. Yeah, I'll defend. I mean, he's at 8 defense, so he should be fine. Okay. Uh, plus 1. Alright. That's nothing. And I can't use unexpected courage, but that's fine. You know I readied with unexpected courage. Yep. And then I'm defending again. He's fine. Pass so I gotta do... Right, to you're up. There you go. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dead. You only need to send six if you can. No matter how okay. I do it. Damn. All right. So I need to send six. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So he's dead too. Oh, wait. They're boosted by one defense. Okay. Then I'm sending everybody and he's still dead. Okay. I did too. Exactly. Yep. Nice. Okay. Uh, that was painful. All right, is there any other force defense? Uh, are we missing anything? Nope, just... Okay. Well, at least Northern Tracker can start putting some progress and getting rid of some of this threat. Ancient Causeway's going away. Yep. That's something. All right. We're going to have to raise our threat by two. That's going to hurt. Ah, dang it. Um... Yeah, okay. Hey, good. Oh, good, good. I got the map of Rovanian. That's good. Yep. All right, you're up. Mm-hmm. Just trying to remember all the gimmicky stuff I can do here. Uh, I guess I can't do any Baragon shenanigans with the map. I have to just straight up pay for it. Yep. But... All right. So I'll just stick him on one of those dudes. Or, but if you put it on um, Bard, you can play three cost Dale characters for free. But he's never going to commit to the quest. Bard. Oh, actually, he probably should start committing to the quest, shouldn't yeah. he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes more sense. Everybody's free now, including our good friend, another warrior about there. Oh, Alright, no, I'm out of cards I, again. I've been doing my uh I haven't been doing my willpower right. I forgot Landwin should have been boosted by one. This whole time. So then we should have dropped our we only we should be one lower threat this mm -hmm. turn. Because uh -huh. uh, you live and you learn. New character new characters. Can you I... set my threat down a level, by the way. Oh, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, they're both the same. <laughs> All right, I will play. Hmm. Hmm. I can play. I can play Gandalf. You want to send me a resource, Chad? I can. Would that help? Why? <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Um. <laughs> I think I'll play Elven Light. Oh, another Aaron Rider. All right, that's not really what I needed. I want a sneak attack. I know as soon as I play this Gandalf, I'm going to draw a sneak attack. I could play that guy. I could play Aaron Riders for no reason. I guess I'll just play Gandalf. Yeah. Or you, know, you still have Glorfindel, right? Yeah, but I couldn't afford it. I'll drop my threat. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Because we need to quest hard. Yeah, we do. All right. So damage right. characters get minus one. Fun one. Two, but put one progress on the active location. Three. 
four, five. So he doesn't have anything. So that's one, two, match. Shit, only five. Come on. We each have to raise our threat by two because of that going away. Boop, boop. I'm getting my threat up pretty high here, Chad. I know. All right, I sent. We were looking so good. I know. Well, we got a pretty good board state here. All right, I got fourteen. Okay, I think it was that that round where like we thought everything was set up to heal and draw cards, and then it was like, oh, actually, never mind, nothing happened, and then. Mm -hmm. All right, I removed off. another thingy. Card number one. Ugh. Oh, All right, surge. On. I'll boost. Land Raise land. each player's threat by two at the end of the refresh phase. No. Uh oh. I've That's pretty much got two turns left unless I can get my. Other Elrond's cancels out. That's if there's more than one. In surges. And I imagine three. Is. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait, that's just That's a... only one. Wait. Two. Uh, no, that's uh, not a resource on it. Well, I... I, I uh... Oh, so it, it... No, that's not a weather treachery there. There so... was last turn, though. Oh, there was two. Crap. All right, I'm two about to... Two or dead. three. I have no idea. I didn't think it mattered. Yeah. Most likely I have one more round left in me, so. Okay. Before I thread out, unless I get lucky. Okay. Two. All right. Well, we made a lot of progress. 21 against 1, 2, 3, 7, 9. So we clear this and this. What's that give us? Five left? Yeah. No, we, we make 10. We make way more than 10. 21 okay. against 9? All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then... we can finally heal. Three damage from a hero we control, each of us. Okay. All right. So I'm... I might as well... I don't know who... What? This is annoying because like, I forgot about that. We got that. So I've got self-preservation. And shouldn't I be able to exhaust it, heal... Exhaust the trader, move it over to somebody else, but it'll be exhausted, right? Yeah, but then it'll be there for next turn. But you, I would heal it from Galdor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. go ahead and uh, he, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Heal Galdor. Exhaust self preservation. Mm -hmm. Exhaust him, and then do you need it on somebody? Nope. You don't. Okay. Well then. We'll leave it on him for the time being. Yep. We'll move it around later. Okay, so Bran now has the necklace. All right, what do we got to do here? Um, when this is an active location, after an orc enemy is added to the stage area, it makes an immediate attack against the first player. Let's just go there. We have to try to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm at 45 threat, and I'm going to be at 48 threat. After the refresh phase, so we gotta go. Okay, Gandalf leaves. I think that's it. There's no enemies. Mm hmm. Let's okay, do it. Raise your threat Let's hope by for two. an hour. One, two. Uh, I gotta do mine by three, right? Why? It'll go up. Oh, it's not. An, it's not an additional two. It's just two. The um, search the ruins isn't. No, it's you're not your plus. It's an additional two. So it's an additional two. Okay, all right. If it'll do, so yeah, it'll, it'll do one by itself. Yeah, this is my last one. Oh, I got Master of the Forge. That's really handy at this point in time. I wonder what you can dig out. Who knows? Are there any threat lowering attachments in this deck, Chad? I was just trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this guy do? Knight of Dale. I can ready him. Okay. Interesting. Oh yeah, you're in Valor, so there you go. I can't quite get him there. It's too bad I don't have him because I could. He'd only be one cost for. Right. Uh, well, I guess I don't have the leadership match, but if I well, did, I think. I think I'll spend all of my spirit resources for Glorfindel. That sounds great. This is our last gasp, so is there anything else you could do? Not do you really. have any attachments you could put on my North Realm lookouts? 
We'll find out when I use Master of the Forge. Okay. Because I haven't drawn any. Okay, well, let me let me oh, wait, play wait, Master of the Forge. I should have drew a card when... Does that count as playing an attachment? When I played that necklace on Brand? Yeah, I took control of it, right? Yeah, why wouldn't it? I mean, it feels like it would be. All right, so then I drew a card. Eh, okay. That Northern Trekker. Not going to do anything. No. The one I got is already going to clear. All right, Aaron. Let's see what you can do here. All right. Let's see. Master of the Forge is coming out. Let's see what he can bring up in the top five cards. Do you think uh, the Dale decks are going to increase the usage of renewed friendship? Because all the lo- I all the attachments, you could hmm. do something where you exhaust a hero in the planning phase for like Captain's Wisdom or something, and then play renewed friendship, and the other guy, or you play an attachment, and the other guy readies that hero. I don't know. That card's never made sense to me. No, you didn't have anything that goes on a ally? Nope. Mm. Nope. <laughs> that I could afford. What? Hold on. The self-preservation go... Oh, self-preservation's on a character. Hold on. Yeah, but I need an item. Oh, you need an item? Yeah. So, this is my best thing I can do. Yeah, I haven't shuffled the yet. Map. So, there's no way I can help you out. The map. But I don't have the map. Yeah, you got the map. You can use your... It was just another self-preservation. No, but your map what? is actually better on one of the scouts. Boop. Take it. I'm going to die soon, so I'm trying to get you stuff. Right. Okay, so now... Give uh, Unexpected Courage. Who wants the Unexpected Courage on your side? Uh... Because I'm dying soon enough, man. Well, I'm dying this turn, so... I guess... Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. So he's questing for five. Or instead of the map, would it be better to move over King of Dale onto Brand? Nope. Okay. No, I'm okay. All right. Because the map is letting me quest for two more okay yeah all right so now if i played traffic from dale i'd gain three resources do it i can't get that northern tracker out well no my planning's already done and don't forget, the map uh, puts a progress yeah, on it's the immune. active location. Oh, is it? Of course it is. All right, so we need to look at how much we're questing for and if we need to clear Search the Ruins or if we think we can make enough progress to win. Wait, hold on. So we would need to be able to clear aim on Forn. And search the ruins, so that's 14 plus 2 since the ridge is going away. So that's 16 plus 20, so we would have to do 36 progress. 1, 2, I'm setting 21. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, And this goes away. I'm only sending 6 because all my guys have no willpower. All right, so... So we're not, gonna, we're not winning this turn, but maybe we can make enough progress and I can die nobly that you can quest through next turn so but we're questing for 27 i think we can clear search the ruins Mm -hmm. and then you won't but i'll be dead so not dead dead not if we clear search the ruins i guess if we clear it that's right i will i will get one i mean if we reveal a doomed you know what can you do yeah 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 if we get the doom two card i'm i'm boned but all right so this goes away let's do search the ruins Oh, McDog says well, you want to do search the ruins. Well, I feel like it's our only way to possibly last another turn because we're not going to be able to clear cornered animals, right? Because we only have twenty seven th- right. willpower. Okay, now There's no way we're we're going to be able to clear the quest card this turn. Oh shoot! Damaged characters get one less. 
Yeah, I already, I already took my one off. Oh, okay. You're ahead of me a little bit. All right. And did you, yeah, you cleared the, Oops, the so other location from the tracker, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Damn. <sighs> All right. Well, that's the end of that. That was fun. All right. Good evening, everybody. Well, that was... <laughs> Jesus. Didn't we re- How many <laughs> copies of this stupid card are there? Uh, did you shuffle the... Like, did we run through all the, the entire deck? We got down to two, and then I had to shuffle it in. Okay. Jesus, Pete. <laughs> all right, well. Then this one. Yeah. Okay, where was your next... Uh, Elrond's Council or whatever? Way oh, yeah, I'll take there. a... I'll take a look. I had five consecutive attachments. Uh, yeah, I was like 12 cards away from my next Elrond's Council. There were two of like the last seven cards. Chad, I don't think you can pull this one off, but... Well, not that. Right. <laughs> I mean, that does that. Okay, then... Actually, it I doesn't surge. I, I keep thinking they surge. So actually, that's... No, not anymore. Okay. But you have to assign the damaged from yeah that guy. And then he's coming down and you have to take two attacks from Hold on, I gotta remove each damage character oh. That's fine. That doesn't actually do anything. Well you can you've got extra cards so you can deal with him with Orphandel and So let's see. Survive and keep some character. Four, so I make fifteen. Nice. Oh, wait. oh it makes an immediate attack. Oh yeah, but you can just couldn't you just ditch and ready Gorfindel and. Yep. So. Oh, for God's sakes, the amount of direct damage. Oh, three more cards. Ugh. Three more damage. Rough. Yep. Three more damage. Ooh, yeah, Gorfy's gonna die if he readies and deals with the next attack. Oh yeah. Uh. But then my character. But you need it on someone who's not questing, right? Characters like that's the hard get... part. Yeah, I don't care if he Minus dies. Minus one. I can just pull him back. Oh yeah, you've got. Uh, yeah, you'll have the. No, I won't. Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll Aaron you'll have five resources next. Aaron Ryder can help me. All right. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay, I survived that. So I actually make enough to clear both of these. Yeah, I believe in you. That's 18, and I sent 19. Okay. Uh, I get to reduce by three. Nice. That's going to buy God, you Aaron, probably you, that two turns. Well, you, I wasn't running the encounter deck. <laughs> we had this if that damn treachery wouldn't have come out. Why is a guy attacking? Because it says uh, the Amon Forn says, after an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack against the first player. Yep, you got it. Flipping ridiculous. He's You're going like, to take three right. attacks from that guy. And luckily, he's not bad, so. All right, so then he engages me. Mm-hmm. Makes an immediate attack. Oh, God. That's right. That's all right, McDog. All right, so I'll defend here. <laughs> oh, Because Chad God. and I are on our A games for sure. And then he's already got one damage there. I don't think I can. And then he's going to make another attack. Okay. Yeah, if he, if he kills somebody, he does. Deal a damage. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. But he will there. remove a token. Who will? From, if he destroys a character, he's going to remove a token from a savage counterattack, which means you pretty much have to win next turn. Okay, then, right. One, two, discard a card. Uh, this guy. That. Freddy Gorfindel. Okay, so then he's dead. All right. Oh, shoot. Each orc enemy is boosted. That 
Uh, oh, that's right. So he would have done an additional damage and would have had one less damage. Oh, that would have no. That would have killed him. That would have killed him. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it did not work. I didn't have anybody ready. Oh man. I forgot they were boosted. Yep. If I just wouldn't have lost my entire board, I think we would have done it. Oh, that was a good game. It was. We it was more, fun. It was just needed bad. more uh, healing. I mean, these decks weren't made to counter this quest. I remember playing this quest for the first time and quickly realized threat reduction and healing. You need it. Well, I mean, it. yeah, certainly for this quest, more healing was needed when you get to that second stage. That's, you know, we got just kind of absolutely piled on with these side quests too. And oh, then yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Triggering, yeah. It was rough. The The encounter deck pulled off its combos. Well, I mean, it kind of got smacked around in that first the first phase we didn't really have many problems we were building up we were kind of doing our thing it wasn't you know it kind of got annoying when we got our, our text box blank but we still were in a good position and then i yeah, jumped to stage two and it was just brutal that's all right though it was fun yeah we came close. it was fun i think if you we could i got to play one like, more turn and you dropped your threat by three then yep. we would have had it because well yeah i mean certainly because i had what Three, three sentinel characters on the table with an unexpected courage on Baragon, so that's four sentinel defenses. Yeah, we, we would have been a lot in a lot better position. And then just quested through the next turn. One turn away! Mm. That's all right. It's like they test this game to yep. make it close, but still difficult. Oh, that was fun. Okay. It was. Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching and listening. We... Uh, we're not sure when we're recording the next episode. It's definitely going to be prior to Gen Con, but we're thinking of putting out a non-Patreon supported bonus episode just covering Gen Con because there's been some questions about uh, the Cardboard of the Rings event and just uh, some other stuff at Gen Con in general. And we also have... Uh... <laughs> Rodar says the deck just needed more Aragorn. <laughs> um, we also have some stuff that we're planning on doing at Gen Con to... Uh provide some content for the folks who aren't able to make it so anyway uh we're probably going to have a bonus episode coming out to uh talk about that we need to do like a, a live sleeping arrangement Take segment on that podcast you want me to videotape you guys sleeping that's really creepy <laughs> no. aaron no. that's that's not cool <laughs> no who's go <laughs> no how are we going to handle having that many guys <laughs> uh it's fun oh yeah i'm looking forward to it i mean i last year was my first gen con i stayed way out way outside of town all on my own and you know i had i still had a blast but it'll be a lot more fun you know coming back for the second year getting to know a lot more people you know from from where i was at last year i think the the listener event and then the after dark event was, you know, the first time I met pretty much anybody in the community. So really looking forward to this year and, and kind of reconnecting with people face to face. Uh, that's what I love about it. You know, the hotel room at Gen Con reminds me of living in an apartment or a dorm in college. Like it has a lot of parallels with that <laughs> of just three or four guys living together and just acting like a bunch of idiot bachelors and goofing off, goofing around. And well, I've already challenged everybody to uh, a game of uh, NFL 2K and then a Taco Bell eating contest because I want to recreate my college years. Yeah, and I will bring uh, the Super <laughs> Nintendo so we can play GoldenEye and Perfect Ooh, Dark. Nice. Okay. Yeah. A little. Uh, oh, what was my favorite game back on? You know, Street Fighter 2 for sure. Little NBA Jam. We'll have a good time. We didn't play many sport games in my college dorm and uh, apartment. We played the first-person shooters, and we played on the Sega. Jeez, oh Peach, what Sega was it? It was Rush. You remember this one? Or it was like you're driving a car. Was but... that on the Dreamcast then? Oh, it was. I don't know. I think it was a little retro. I think someone. It was an older game. Because I didn't go straight to college after high school. So I graduated in 98 from high school. And I didn't go to college for years and years. But my college-aged years were like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 on the, the Dreamcast and the and the, the PlayStation. And like, yeah, GoldenEye and oh, what was the 
the N, some of the N64 games too, right. like Mario Kart 64. Oh, Mario Kart. Oh, we just and... played Mario Kart on Super Nintendo. We we could have. Oh yeah, that's yeah, like I probably put more hours into that game than any game. In... It's one of the best games ever made. Uh, yeah, I, Rush I was could probably great. still kill it to this. Day. I can't remember if it was the Sega. I I can't remember which Sega it was, but you you were a car, and then your car had wings with like jets, and so you could play battle mode. You know, but if you go over mm-hmm. ramps, you would fly for a little bit, and you know you could. So you had that aspect, which was real fun, and then you also had this. I think it was Rush. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong game, but you had this mode where you're just trying to do tricks. So there's all these ramps and and loop to loops and yeah and you would just go get as much speed as you could hit the ramp fly into the air and then just try to do as many flips and twists and and your score is like racking up racking up how many points you're gonna earn but you have to stick the landing you have to land on all four tires even if you start rolling you know crash roll 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 crash roll yeah you, know, you can still like hit the jet engines and try to like stabilize yourself and if you stick the landing you get all the points. And you're doing I don't this... think I ever played that game. Oh, it was great because you're doing it at the same time as everybody. So everybody's just driving around going nuts, right? <laughs> and so what you would try to do is is basically fuck up people's landings, right? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> or hit them in midair. So yeah. <laughs> I remember this one time Nick was going to just shatter all records. He had my uh, my one roommate. He had, <laughs> he had I don't know what he did. We don't know what move he did, but his points that he was going to earn was absolutely insane. He hits the ground. He's rolling. He's rolling, but he's getting it under control. He's getting it under control. And we're just watching him because he's like, look how many points I'm going to get. And he's getting all excited. And then he does the thing like where you're trying to like rock over like a vending machine where his car like gets up on two tires. It's about to go over and it starts to come down on all four. And that's when I drove up and went tap. <laughs> <laughs> it knocked him on his roof. Oh, Boom, so much the car fun. explodes. <laughs> oh man. In like the mid two thousands, my my buddies and I would all get together every Monday night. We're all uh pro wrestling fans. We'd watch wrestling on Monday nights and then after wrestling we would play like oh man, I forget some of the names of the game, like I think it was like SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, and all these wrestling games on like the PlayStation two. And every single week we would like one of my buddies was really good at it. And another one of my friends, we would go outside, like have a cigarette or something and be chatting. And he'd be like, dude, dude, we, we got it. We got to team up on Josh. We got to team up on Josh. And I'm like, all right, man. All right, all right. That's, that's double team Josh. And then every single week, right when he thinks we're about to beat Josh, nope, I turn on him and pin him. And I did it week <laughs> after week after week. And he would just throw his controllers off the wall and get so pissed off at me. And it was always every week he would fall for it. I have no idea why, but it was great. And he would be like, dude, don't turn on me this week. And it's like, all right, all right. I won't, I won't, I swear. I and then swear. boom, kicked him right in the balls and <laughs> beat him every time. <laughs> uh, I don't know why he's still friends with me, actually, now that I think about it. I remember we were playing Goldeneye. I remember how the rocket launcher you had like mode, oh, yeah. mode B, where you could fly the rocket, like you mm-hmm. are the rocket. So, of course, the, the dangerous thing is, is your character is just standing there looking at your gun. So someone can walk up to you and just kill you if they figure out where you yeah. are. Because you're, you know, who knows? So I remember I was chasing John, my buddy John, around this map. I was the rocket. And he, he just could not get through the door and the door automatically closed quick enough. I was like just getting through these doors and chasing him as he's just running from room to room to room to room. And I'm flying this rocket and he's, just you know, just trying to outrun me. And then Nick, who sucked at the game, had just respawned. I don't know how he, how he died. He is always dying. So he just respawned, and here comes John running into the room where Nick just respawned. So Nick, all he has is that little pea shooter that you start the game with. <laughs> yep. He starts shooting John and punching him. <laughs> so John's screen gets all like blurry like when you're being punched. <laughs> and John, mind you, we're all in the same room. You know, We're just sitting there three o'clock in the morning and john's like no you fucking idiot don't 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 and then boom chad two kills <laughs> I, just, I was like thanks nick oh i didn't know chad was chasing you with a rocket oh man yep sure was <laughs> no 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 <laughs> slowed him down just enough those games were so much fun but like i don't know i mean i don't know how other people are but 
every year I get a little bit older and every year it's like my hand-eye coordination gets a little slower and mm -hmm. I try to play like the current first person shooters and it's like, oh, forget about it. I don't, I can't keep up with all this. Nope. You had There's to grow too many up with things it. Going. It had to be, yeah, I mean, you know, like you grew up when the game started and picked it up right from the get go. Oh yeah. If I, if it's more complicated than about like four buttons, it's like, nope, I can't handle all that. That's yep. too many. That's too much uh, information to process all at once. Yep. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like instead of actually playing board games, we're going to be bringing video game systems and just staying in our hotel room. Like Brandon yeah. did that his first Gen Con where all he did was play Magic. I've got a, um, you know, I've got a Wii that's been modified for, you know, pretty much every old game system. So maybe I'll nice. jam that into my backpack and bring it on to Gen Con and we no. can... Uh, we can we can get down on some Super Nintendo games. 